Hello, this is Mel with Five Star Service PwC, and I do have my uh, solar system we built for my uh, RV here done finally. And we're out enjoying it. We're currently in Arizona, and uh, I've got everything installed. I got a unique battery pack system on it though. So I got this from batteryhookup.com and these are the they have these on their website um it's all packed in here you know it's all my stuff but uh this i got these from their website this goes all the way across it's hard to see but this goes all the way across the camper and this is the pull out shelf you know that normally you lift this up but i did uh block it on both sides so it couldn't accidentally be lifted up because there's so much weight in here but these were out of their 24s samsung cells they're selling which had each one of them had three of these guys in it and i disassemble them all and i and i basically converted them into 16 s's by uh wiring every two of them together in series to create a basically like a 60 volt battery is what i've i'm getting out of them and uh, they do go up higher to 64.8 is no problem to charge these two but the only problem is uh with the victron controllers and stuff i'm using they're not going up that high there i can only get them to 60 volts at full charge so which is fine um anyways and i did use these bms's from them also and those all wired in uh i use their uh you know, they came with these harnesses in and wired in already. And then um, I was able to, uh, I had to splice onto every one of them with uh, this harness and then um, create uh, like this. This one's probably a better looking one to look at. But, and then I, then I end up by this, 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 this chamber right here fit perfect, the battery packs. And I ended up, there is eight sets of 16s. So I've got eight 16s in here. And then I've got these terminals on the uh, on the board here. There's some down there farther too. Let's zoom in on them. See them down there? Four down there, down to these four. And then I go in through here to my uh, Victron area where we have our, our components. And so this battery pack uh, lasts quite a while. I mean, I go 48 hours on it, no problem. And before they're, you know, you, you got, you know, before they're getting dead. Now we're in Arizona now, so we're getting better sunlight, but you still don't get as many hours as you would normally. So it seems like every two days I need to either plug in or turn on the generator to recharge them back up because it just won't keep up. We're using quite a bit of power in here which works out fine for boondocking though. So anyways, uh, I'm very happy with these batteries. And um, I did order a charger that will allow me to charge them up to um, when I'm plugged in uh, on shore power to get them a little higher because I can only really get them to like 60 volts. Um, and the, it really, it goes up to 58 volts with the Victron over here system. And go up to 58 volts and what you see right here so i got this guy right here so right now we're at 53.58.3 and we're on grid power and we're only getting 88 watts of uh PV power right now. That's because it's late in the afternoon and the sun's went down. And uh, it's char. They charge the also. It throttles the PV controller when it's at after 58 volts. So from 58 to like 60 volts, uh, this uh, this MPPT 450 100. Uh, I've got it set up and it'll charge to. Uh, you know basically 60 volts and then it's supposed to go up to 62 but i, I it, it, when i got programmed there but i'm just not getting that out of it and um 
I got these two multi plus twos in here for a split phase converter system. Now these will go up to, they say 65, 66 volts or like that, no problem. But I can't, I haven't figured out how to set them up right. So I, you know, I, in the, I'm not an expert at programming this stuff, but uh, it, it seems as I've got it as high as I can get it. But I would wish it would charge it a little bit higher because that if I could get this to go up to 64, 65 volts, like like it says that they're capable of these battery packs, that every volt after you get past like 58 lasts like a whole day. I mean, it's really good. So those last three or four volts would be a big deal. You know, I think I would get a whole week instead of two days out of it. But um, anyways, this is what we got here. And, you know, I got my distributor and my shunt and my, or actually that's a power in uh, shunt and distributor. And, uh, yeah, the only thing I really need to do is figure out how to get that into the cab, up into my uh, camper. It's kind of in a terrible spot because this is right over the um, slide out, the kitchen slide. So it's causing me a little bit of uh, an issue, but I, I will get it up there. But I, we just wanted to get out and get on the road because I, I had to get this done by the end of October. And we did get it done and we got out of there. So we've been on the road for a couple weeks and we've been enjoying, enjoying it. But yeah, so that's what I use these uh, from um, batteryhookup.com was done batteries and uh, they're working just fine. Haven't had any problems with any of them yet. And I've cycled them uh, uh, quite a few times so far. Anyways, uh, Good company to use if you uh, want to give them a try out and they got a lot of neat stuff over there but I, i'm pretty sure they have some more than batteries over there now, that was a really good deal on them anyways uh thanks for watching five star pwc and i know this isn't my normal uh interest and we know on, the, on this channel but uh, i thought i would make a video on it anyway so anyways happy thanksgiving everybody we'll talk to you later bye